So here I am again at the Yellow River State Forest. Um, it's Tuesday, so I have the park pretty much to myself. I'm going to try today, if I have time because i got kind of a late start, to hit all four campsites. I'm starting here at the back entrance. Oh, red car, that's mine. I'm going to go to Camp Wendell, and up the hill to Camp Schultz, down to Brown's Hollow, and up to Heffron Hill. Uh, so I'm going to get loaded here, head up the trail, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Alright, here's Camp Lindell. That branch of the trail takes you down to Camp Schultz. We'll be there shortly. First, let's check out Camp Lindell. Still some color down here. This is the smallest of the four pack in sights. Whew, look at all the firewood. But I think, personal preference, it's prettiest. This is the only fire ring. Got the tent pad over here. Oh, good spots up there. There's a lady enjoying the day. I don't want to disturb her, but that's the pond. Alright, I dropped my pack. Went down and checked the water out. Ooh, murky. Definitely be better for a gravity filter because you pump a lot of junk. <coughs> but it's water. Yeah, if you're creative, there's some spots to hang humans. We can hear. couple of really good spots right here. That tree. That tree. This one. And that one. This one. And that one. Quite a few. If you bushwhack back here a little bit, you can find some pretty good spots. There we go. Another couple good spots. Yeah, you can have five, six guys here. Pretty good. Minimal amount of scouting here. I've been able to find five or six places that I would hang. And I'm by no means the expert in site selection. <laughs> Not bad. Now that I've dug around in there and found spots, I'm kind of impressed. I didn't realize that there were that many places to hang over here. And the biggest benefit being, it's pretty. I'm burning up daylight, so I gotta get it moving. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to hit all four before I have to pitch camp. Pick up my pack and onward.
Eesh, busy woodpecker. All right, stop two, Camp Schultz. Look at that beautiful pile of wood. This is where we did night one of the Iowa hang last year. If I remember right, I hung from these two little skinny trees right over here. I'm actually camping here, so try not to butt in on their fun. There's a few good hammockable trees just right in the open mowed part. Spot right there on the tent pad, right there where I hung last year. Big walking bear hung right here. Sky gazer hung over there. That tent is. On the trail map, it shows a water feature, which I assume is what this used to be. Dry as a bone. Lots of good places to hang here, other than the obvious tent pad spots. Last year, hiking dab was over here. Back in the brush, and there's a little pine, scotch pine grove up here. And here. Where's the other tent pads? There's two more fire rings over here. These were sky gazer hung last year. The fella over there camping. There's another fire ring there, obviously. Not as many hanging spots over here. But Pine Grove there's got several. Okay, every fire ring I have seen today has had a good supply of firewood sitting right next to it. There's no guarantee that come November there'll still be any there, but for right now, plenty of wood. Tonight I will be having a good fire. Brown towel. This is where we did night two of the Iowa hang. And there is plenty places to park a car here for staging water whatever you don't want to haul with you on towel trail and on towel camp this is where we did last year's Iowa hang there's an abundance with hammockable trees right out in the open. No need to bushwhack, although some folks like that. Good sizable stack of firewood there. There's the big fire ring. Little fire ring over there. No firewood. Concerning. Another little fire ring over here. Great big stack of firewood. That's what I like to see. even split. I love you park service guys. And down here is where there is usually a stream. Last year when I hung here I was able to pull water out of here to filter. Oh, it's bone dry. All in all, hard to beat for a group hang down here. For easy trees, that is. If you want to hang from trees that you don't have to hunt for, these are it. Plenty of them. And onward and upward. Been downhill since Camp Schultz, but now it'll be uphill over there. And Big Lumen Hill over there. Heffron Hill. That's where the campsite is. Alright. You are here. That's Heffron Hill. We were 
here. I ain't gonna lie to you, there's some climbing to be done. This might be the place to come to get your water. A little shoot up there. That's the Heffron Hill Trail, right up there. And this is a little slope. This is Heffron's Hill Trail loop. And here we go. The last of four campgrounds. Heffron's Hill. And I see firewood that makes me happy. This is a pretty big site here. Let me grab you off the hiking pole here. Wait a second. I uh, see firewood. Makes me happy. Fire ring number one. Not really any place to hang a hammock here. Fire ring number two. Plenty old wood, though it looks a little on the wet side. Still looking kind of problematic for where to hang a hammock. The third fire ring. More wood. I expect some good spots back here. And there's a lean to. Although it looks like it's leaning a little more than it's supposed to. I bet you could probably hang a hammock in here. Right there. Right there. I bet you, bet you, you could. Well, the fish camp back here, where the big fire ring is, the lean to is, the site selection is not the best. A lot of undergrowth, particularly thorns, which I have not encountered at the other sites. I finally got a spot set out down here. I want to be kind of close to the fire ring. But I'm right on the slope, so. There's some more spots over there that are kind of workable, but a lot of the trees that are the right spacing are dead. I don't know if I'd want to hang off of those. These are everywhere down here. And they're sharp and they hurt. Nothing like a good sharp axe for making a good fire. Now I split up some kindling. I think I'll probably have enough firewood for the night. Well, anyway, getting a little dark. Do my fire. Eat my chili mac. Mmm, mmm. And I'll hike out in the morning. Head for home.